All right, all right, all right. Welcome, 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 welcome to one more session of WOC. This is your money ma'am. Hello, namaskaram, madakkam, shastriyakal, adabad se, baunnara, channa gidra, all. Yes, welcome to all the WOC students who have been waiting for the series. I am going to start with the organic MCQ series. In the previous video, I have done a particular concept that is, what is a board syllabus? What is a board pattern question paper? Way to stress. You all know we have section A, B, C, D, E. Section A has MCQs. So I'm starting with that MCQ series. That's organic MCQs. Let's start. All the students who are joining me for the first time or watching me for the first time, this is your money, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. The students who are associated with me for long, my heartful thanks to you all. Let's start. I'll be teaching the concept. I'll be doing the MCQs. We'll be doing all the important MCQs for all the 10 chapters, all sections, very short, short, long, case-based, everything I'm going to do. Let's start the video. Let me pick my duster so that it is easy for me. Let's start. I'm ready with the pens and duster. Let's see. So the first question in organic chemistry, I'm starting with the preparations. Remember, IUPAC I'll be doing gradually. So preparations, the first preparation which is used in what is a question based from halo alkenes and halo arenes. Let's read the question. The question says, the order of reactivity of the following alcohols with halogen acid is, oh, they have given me a list of ABC alcohols. They are asking me, what is the order of reactivity of alcohols with halogen acids? What is this reaction? Alcohol reaction with halogen acids is nothing but your Groves process or it is also called Lucas reagent test. Shall we once go through it the concept? Yes. Let's see the concept. What is that? The Groves process, GROO, Groves process or the Lucas reagent test. Lucas test or Lucas reagent test. What is that do? Whichever alcohol you're going to take. Remember, let this alcohol be primary, let it be secondary or let it be tertiary. When it is reacting with an halogen acid, HX. HX. Now, what is this HX can be? It can be HCl. HBr, HI. What is it going to give? The water molecule is going to come out and X is going to replace. What product I am going to get? I am going to get an alkyl halide and along with this water. This is what is a compound. But what should I remember the examination point of view? In the examination point of view, I have to remember important whenever this question is given to me. Two concepts. First concept is remember what is the order for the alcohol. The alcohol reactivity, the alcohol reactivity with halogen acid. Remember, tertiary. So, I am writing order of reactivity of which one I am writing. The order of reactivity of alcohols, I am writing it as tertiary carbocation, which forms as an intermediate, is more stable than secondary, more stable than primary. Next important order of reactivity, this is done. Tertiary is more stable than secondary than primary. So, whichever is stable, that's a major product, right? Then, uh, what is the order of halogen acids? So, order of order of reactivity of halogen acids. Halogen acids. Remember, the order of reactivity of halogen acids is HI more reactive than HBr, more reactive than HCl. That's it. If you remember these two over. So, whenever Lucas test question is given to me, tertiary, Reactive more or stable compound forming tertiary, secondary, primary halogen acids is HI more because the bond length is more easy to cleave HBr than HCl. So, what is the order, students? Let's go to, let, let us go to the question. Now, in this question, OH concentrate, OH concentrate, OH concentrate. OH is attached to two hydrogen atoms, a carbon attached to two hydrogens, it is primary. OH is attached to a carbon having only one hydrogen, it is. Secondary, OH is attached to a carbon with no hydrogens, that is tertiary. Now, just now I said, which is more stable? Tertiary, secondary, primary. Let us see the option. Tertiary is which one? C. Where is C? O here. Then B. Done. Then A. So, the correct answer is C, B, A. Tertiary, greater than, stable than, secondary, stable than, primary. Easy, isn't it? This is the concept. This is the concept. Well, this is the clue. This is the question. Let's do one more question. I'll be making the concept easy and simple. All the questions you are going to do, all the 16 
Marks are yours. Let's do the next question. Alright, now concept is clear, right? So, I should remember tertiary, more stable than secondary alcohol, then primary. In halides, HI, more easy to break, then HBr, then HCl. Let's just see the next question. Next question says, which of the following also will yield the corresponding alkyl chloride? We are preparing alkyl halide, right? On reaction with concentrated HCl at room temperature. Nice, they are asking, they give me a clue here, room temperature. So always remember, first of all, look at the alcohol. They are giving me which alcohol here? OH is attached to a carbon having two hydrogens, so it is primary. OH is attached to a carbon having one hydrogen, it is secondary. OH is attached to a carbon having two hydrogens. Forget about the remaining, only the OH attached to carbon. How many are there? Two hydrogens, so primary. OH is attached to carbon. Now, which is a mistake here? H should not be there because valency is already 4. So, OH is attached to carbon with no hydrogens. It is tertiary. Now, you very well know they said room temperature. Yes, tertiary alcohols immediately form turbidity at room temperature. So, what is the correct order? So, tertiary is more preferred to form the tertiary forms the product faster than secondary, then primary. So, which is the correct option? D is a correct option here, right? Let us see the next question. Easy, easy peasy. Let's see the next. Alright, now let us see the next question. Our concept is getting clear, right? Let us see the question. The question says, which of the following reagents cannot be used to prepare an alkyl halide? Oh. From alcohol, I am preparing alkyl halide. Which reagent I, sh I cannot use? Simple as that. See, what is this reagent? This is Lucas reagent. Okay. This is thionyl chloride. This is PCL5, PCL3, PCL5, thionyl chloride and Lucas. These four are the reagents which are used to convert alcohol to alkyl halide. Correct? Now, NaCl. You very well know reagents are those which can be organic. Reagents organic having carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, correct students. So, inorganic also can be there, but NaCl is a salt. The one which is used as a mixture or a compound. So, understand the clue students. NaCl is not used to prepare or convert alcohols to alkyl halides. Simple. Yes, I am taking. So, which cannot be used? This option is and ACL cannot be used and you also very well know the reaction with sodium hydroxide when it combines it's an explosive reaction all right now let us go to one more variety of question concept is the same only thing this question is different let's read the question the question says this is the fourth question the following method cannot be considered suitable for the preparation of alkyl halide okay so basically the conversion of alcohol in the presence of any particular reagent like Lucas or SOCl2, PCl3 or PCl5, this conversion is nothing but, what is it students? It's a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Correct? Yes. When I see this is nucleophilic substitution reaction, yes. This is also nucleophilic substitution reaction because you are replacing the X into the particular compound OH, you are replacing X to OH. Here also X to OH. Here, X2, that you breaking the double bond using the Markovnikov of addition reaction, you are using that and preparing alkyl halide. But in this case, what is happening? Halogen, one alkane, again you are replacing, you are replacing. As you have seen the reaction in grade 11th, gradually you will be getting, our, the final product will be carbon tetrachloride. Correct? So, the one or the particular reaction which, is no, which cannot be considered suitable is halogenation. Because all the hydrogens are replaced by the halogen. That means in an alkyl halide, you are going to prepare using either Lucas test or thionyl chloride or PCL3 or PCL5. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope the concept and the question is clear. Like that, we will be doing loads and loads of MCQs. Handwritten notes I will be sending everything. I request you one small or one small request. What is that? Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I will meet you again with the next topic. 
Bye-bye.